In the last video, we talked about Google and we got a very good response where people were asking to make more such videos. So today I'm here with a video on Amazon where we'll talk about the online test of Amazon, like what generally comes in that online test and how can you prepare for that online test, which all things you need to keep in mind, you need to focus upon, which all resources you can follow, particularly for Amazon. So each and everything we are going to discuss in this video. So if you have an upcoming interview or if you have an upcoming online test or if you aim at cracking Amazon, so this video is going to be for you. Let's keep a very small like target of one point likes if we get 1.5 likes on this video this motivates me to make more such videos for you so without any further ado let's get started so uh, if we talk about amazon so in india amazon has its offices in bangalore hyderabad gurgaon in chennai also they have their office and they hire for multiple different roles if i talk about multiple different roles you will see amazon hiring for sde internship when i say sd internship they generally hire for two months and six months internship two months is for pre-final year students and six months is for final year students, right? Uh, if I talk about second, they hire for SDs full time. SDs full time. So when they hire for SDs full time, they generally hire fresh grads or you can say final year students again. They have other roles also like applied scientists or you can say with applied scientists or similar kind of role they have for data scientist in turn. So generally for freshers, they focus upon this particular thing like SD internship, SD full time, applied scientist intern, applied scientist full time or data science intern and data science full time. So we'll majorly talk about this SD part. I'll give you a little brief about applied scientist thing also. How can you be a part of that and how can you get an interview chance at applied scientist uh, role, right? So first thing is SD internship. If I talk about SD internship for SD full time, they have an online challenge. Generally for Amazon, it is like there are very high chances that you receive a test link. Once you apply on the careers portal, either through a referral or without referral, there are very good chances that you, you receive a test link. So uh, what exactly would be the test pattern? We are going to see that. So if I talk about the test pattern, right? So in this test pattern, you will see there are multiple different sections. So first section is, so first section is a debugging section. So when I say a debugging section, you will get seven questions and in those questions, there will be some errors. Matlab errors can be related to syntax error, can be related to some logic error, can be related to some matlab, uh, any any uh, logical errors, right? So uh, there can be some errors and you need to debug that. The section, I would rate it as very easy. So the questions of this section are easy. There are around seven questions. And if your fundamentals are clear, I would say you can clear all seven on seven very easily. Right? It's a very easy part of the uh, exam so that you are motivated enough to attempt the other parts. Next section is a coding questions. Right? Generally for Amazon ka test, you will see two coding questions they ask. Actually, would those two coding questions be? They, like the level if we talk about, you will see one question. Uh, it would be easy to medium. The like easy to medium lead code. It's not difficult. Either uh, some modification of a standard problem only you will get. And one question you can say a little medium to hard. That's not also very hard, but you can say it, the question would be lengthy rather than saying hard. The question would be lengthy. You need to write some more matlab, extra lines of code to uh, like satisfy all the test cases and satisfy all the edge cases. So the question I would say it would be a little lengthier, but overall it would not be very tough. Okay. Uske baad, like, like you'll have two questions from this. You will have uh, coding questions and these questions would be statement based questions. It's not that ki they'll directly give you an array or you do that, they'll directly give you a tree. No, you will have a full statement question. When I say statement question, uh, the question might be something around Amazon. Like, let's say Amazon fresh team is doing this. So how can you make some changes? There are some people who are working in Amazon fresh team and Amazon wishes to do some another project, right? So it's, it has been formed in the form of a tree like structure. How can you remove this or add this? So the question statement would be something around Amazon, but generally this has been seen. So you can accept, expect the statement based question from the statement based question. You need to uh, come out with the uh, final uh, question, like what exactly you need to do. So understanding the statement is very, very important. Question is easy. Mainly the statement is little clever. Uh, there's a specific list of questions. Like I would like to suggest that is top Amazon coding interview questions from where you can uh, practice these questions. If you're looking forward to practice, you'll find all these questions which have appeared for Amazon's exam somehow or the other. There are questions with difficulty level of moderate, easy. So you can see hard questions also. Along with that, there are filters, right? Let's say you want to uh, attempt questions from backtracking. So you can click on this backtracking topic and you will see 
a lot of these uh, questions based upon backtracking. You click on this binary search, so you can apply these filters and you can do these questions topic wise also. So this resource is something that you can use. I'll share the link to this resource in the description and that would make uh, sure ki, uh, you practice all the questions which are important for the interviews, right? Ricky? right so this is basically the coding questions after that there is something known as work style assessment everybody ask me about work style assessment so work style assessment mein kya hota hai? it's nothing but it's more of uh, based upon leadership principles at amazon amazon ki website pe if you'll go you'll see there are 16 leadership principles make the best but there are around 16 leadership principles i don't exactly remember all of those but you can go on their website you can check what all values would you consider in that so this work style assessment would be based upon that it's not that they are going to judge you they are going to judge a little bit of your personality like uh, do uh, do you like going to places on time so you'll have an, an answer yes or no so it depends upon ki whether you select a yes or no do you like wearing watch to office do you would you select a yes or no so these type of questions you'll expect in this work style assessment and it's more of ki it's a non-evaluative part but more of uh, it judges ki whether you will be aligning with the values of amazon so i would recommend you all to go through these leadership principles and uh, try answering these questions based upon that so majorly this is the pattern for uh, uh, test also there can be one more section in some cases what that section would be having it would be having mcqs so mcq section may there can be two things one is aptitude so if you're appearing for internship test so you will have this aptitude round there'll be around 20 24 questions 30 45 30 to 40 minutes you'll be getting and it's a very easy type of aptitude section you don't need anything else so it's this is something you can expect or you can expect mcqs based upon cs fundamental this is generally for full time like for in turn you will not uh, generally have the cs fundamentals around where you can expect mcqs based upon os dbms and oops right so this cs fundamentals part is majorly for fts and this aptitude part is for interns but this is generally seen in general exams right apart from them for fts uh, one more kind of uh, uh, test pattern has been seen in which they only ask two coding questions, two to three coding questions directly. Well, if they are looking forward to hire late, late, uh, literally, or they are looking forward to hire off campus, so generally this pattern has also been seen in some cases. Ki they directly ask you coding question. It depends upon ki which recruiter is reaching out to you. So that totally depends. So these kind of like this is the kind of test that you can see, you can expect out of an Amazon. Okay. So this is one thing. Apart from that, there's one more thing. Uh, that is third thing that was left is applied scientist role. So applied scientist role generally Amazon hires for this role from IITs only. But if you are from a tier three college and if you're looking forward to get this kind of role at Amazon, let me help you with two more things. There's one thing known as Amazon ML summer school. There's ML summer school and there is something known as Amazon hack on. So Amazon conducts this hackathon through which they give you an interview chance for applied scientists. So this hackathon is based upon basically ML and data science. Whereas this ML summer school, this is also a kind of a program through which they mentor you based upon data science. They have some webinars, some online sessions, some quiz competitions through which they select you for ML summer school. Now this would be coming for 2025 batch. If you are graduating in 2025, so it would be coming in and around June, July next year through which you can, you will get a chance to interview at Amazon for applied scientist intern. Once you get this sign applied scientist in turn, you can, uh, you get a chance to get a PPO offer and salary in this applied scientist role is generally more than what you get in an SD role. So this is something that you should keep in mind, right? Apart from that, like if you also looking forward to prepare for Amazon's particular test, so there is something known as these online test series that you can check out. So these are uh, five test series. It's based upon uh, the pattern that you get exactly three questions and you need to submit it in 1.5 hours. So you can check out these mock tests also with a score of 280. You can click on this uh, start test button. Once you click on the start now button, you will have this interface where three questions will be there and you need to attempt it in 1.5 hours so that you can test 
whether you are capable enough to solve the questions in the amazon practice test so this can be taken as a practice assignment or a practice test right apart from that matlab on code studio you will find these kind of uh, uh, guided paths particularly for data structural algorithms like you will see arrays strings basic algorithm multi dimensional arrays bahut sare aise topics you will see which might be helpful for you to prepare for your uh, data structural algorithms right so this is also something that you can uh, check out i'll share the links to all these in the description make sure if you're preparing you can check them out right so overall matlab if i talk about from amazon's process these were some of the things if i talk about the topics right so generally topics are not uh, specified ki this topic would be uh, asked but if you talk about amazon interviews so make sure you prepare trees and graphs well right because in amazon's interview there are generally two rounds two tech rounds and in both these tech rounds you will see questions which are uh, they last two questions in 45 minutes two questions in 45 minutes and mostly you will see standard problems they will not modify questions or they will not change or make a very typical question you will see standard problems and you need to solve them in 45 minutes the crux is ki 45 minutes mein do question you need to submit you need to uh, solve so that is very very important for amazon's interview like if you get selected out from this uh, online test for this interview you need to focus upon this majorly right i'll make a complete guide on interview prep also how to better prepare for amazon's interview in a, in a separate video right so that you can get complete details intricate details but for this video i'll close it here i hope you got an idea of the online process applied science test all everything about amazon do let me know in the comment section if you have some more doubts i'll try to answer each and every one of you also make sure you do hit that like button that motivates me to make more such videos for you subscribe to the channel if you are new and see you in some other video let me know which other company are you looking forward to for this kind of review stay tuned all the best good luck bye